Now as we continue, it is getting dark out here in my home. And all this work is done in my home and I own the bow, I own all the material that's gone into it and labor. No one's paying me to do this. I own the proprietary polishing system and I just like to do it. Now as we continue, this bow has been gone over with 2000 grit which is 3M and you can see right here of course, where you want to see it, you can't. But it's 2,000 grit. And this is put in a small basin here with water and dish soap. The dish soap, what that does is it lubricates the surface between the uh, sandpaper and the, whatever you're polishing, and your scratches will be less. It takes a little while longer to do, but it's it's uh, it's really good to do it that way. Now all of the the uh, the tiny and these are just for my hand marks. All of the tiny holes have been taken out the orange peel, so it's basically a flat surface as much as it can be flat for it being a handmade one of a kind item. Now all these bowls are made like that. Like I say, I own this, and I'm not going to discuss where it was made or how I got it. I just want to, this is just a deal on polishing. And I have all rights to do that. Now, the bow looks like it just has a dull finish, but it doesn't. It has a perfectly glass smooth, clear finish on it all over. The last thing that you want to do are these edges right here, right here, here, or just don't even touch them at all. Get within to about an eighth of an inch of the corners and stay the hell away from them. The flat panels and everything right here will have such a high gloss shine on them. What they will do is you don't need to get the edges. If you burn through the edges right here, with you can see you can see the the shine right there on the clear. Let me see if I can get this out in the light. It's uh, I'm outside and it's it's getting late and there's nothing like sunlight to show you what these can be. And like I say, I consider them like furniture. They're just beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. Now, of course, this is it's got the 2000 grit and you can see the, the light sheen on the fiberglass. These are the limbs right here. The limbs come right down to what's called the riser or the handle. I didn't know that when I started. This is called the arrow rest, right here where the arrow goes. It's right-handed. That means I'm going to grab it right here with my right hand, and the arrow goes to the left. All of the wood here, it's all exotic wood, and it has been sanded down. The next step on this bow is to polish it. And I, I, I really, it's like Christmas to me when I polish these. This is about the fourth one I've done. I call them a Super Bow because of the polish. And you don't see fine wood items handmade anymore. That's why I really like to polish them. But I don't want to get anyone upset where this item was made. So everything's been gone down with 2000, wet sanded. And now I will polish, and you will see the jewel beneath the rough when I do it. You can see a little bit of the glass glassine look. You can, do you see that the the small reflection right there? That's very very important. It looks flat, but it's not. It's just one step away from being perfectly polished. And now I will polish it. Of course, nobody may see these videos. They may all stay private. Just depends. But like I say, they are my bows. I'm doing this at home, my own equipment. I'm not saying where the bows were made, or how I purchased them, even though I can legally at least. 
I just think they're really beautiful and I'm going to show the world if if possible so like I say we go back and forth back and forth to see the whole thing it's a long bow with about 30 pounds of pull and usually uh, right down here it would say uh, the date of manufacturer would be written like this date of manufacturer and the, the, the reach whatever the hell that is and the pull so I think it's like 30 pounds because it was made for um, Jennifer Lawrence okay 